What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we are unboxing two of my orders from Cyber Week. First one is from Lavender and the second one is from Archer and Olive. This is the first video of a handful probably on my channel over the next month where I'm showing things that I purchased. Before I open this box up, let me just say that the reason I post unboxing videos and I show you guys what I purchased is because these are the types of videos I watch to determine whether or not I'm going to purchase something. So if there's something that I've been eyeing, like something in this box that I'll just tell you is the really nice creme de la creme Levenger disc punch. If I've been eyeing that and I know that it costs X number of dollars, I'm gonna go to YouTube and see people using it and talking about it so that I can make an informed decision on whether or not to purchase it. So anytime you see an unboxing video on my channel, Part of it is because I, I like doing reviews and first impressions, so I get entertainment out of it. But the other part of it is I know that this could be a resource for someone who is shopping. And, you know, this might prevent you from spending a lot of money that you shouldn't be spending, or it might encourage you to add this to your birthday wish list. So just I felt like I had to say that because there's going to be a lot of unboxings on my channel. And my hope is that if you've been eyeing something my showing it to you will help you make a decision on whether or not it's something that you want or you need or don't need or don't want. Okay, let's start with Levenger. The Archer and Olive box actually is a former subscription box that they had deeply discounted. So uh, if you guys follow along the subscription boxes, you might already recognize it. Um, but if you haven't, it's new to you. So we'll open that in a moment. But let's talk about Levenger first. Let me make sure I don't have any personal items on here. Uh, or personal, yeah, address information. So, Lavender has a lot of great disc-bound items as a part of their Circa line. And so, I picked up a lot of Circa stuff, and I picked up, you know, let me, here, we're gonna, let me move this box out of the way. I'll do the punch last. Let me pull these guys out. So Levenger is a pricier brand, right? They do a lot of really fine leather goods. They are meant for writers and thinkers, journalers, artists. And so like it's very luxe, very leather, um, beautiful fountain pens, like $200 fountain pens, like beautiful items. And they also have this circle line, which is their disc bound system. So I picked up, oh, these do not look the way I thought that they would. Let's start with these because I think these will be a very, very interesting. So these are label holders for the disc bound system. I've never seen anything quite like it. I thought it would be similar to how I'm using the Happy Planner storage albums because they come with little tabs that you can put on the spine to label what the items are. This is a set of label holders for the spine of your disbound system. And I got this because I've been using, ah, oh, I've been using a half letter to store a lot of my half letter inserts. And I thought I should just get a bunch of these because they just clip on to the spine and then you can label, let, you know, let's actually, Let's actually grab a disc bound. It'll be interesting to see size wise. So these are happy planner discs on a classic planner. And it looks like this is like plastic. And you just, we'll see if this works. You just snap these on. I was like, this concept could be awesome or it could be awful. Yeah, you just snap it on. All right, so it's, wow. Okay, can you guys, let me make sure. Can you see that? It does work. So this is on HP Classic Discs. So you're not gonna want, this isn't gonna work on expander discs. Uh, let's see if it works on mini discs. Do I have mini discs nearby? Hold on, let me check. Um, do I not have a mini planer nearby? I, of course... Do not have, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Here's my 
mini. Let's see how this works on the mini sized discs. Okay, mini discs are too, well, they're gonna be a little too small, I think. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna use these on the mini. It's a little, well, you can actually, you can use this on the mini, but it looks like it's pooching a bit. So the idea is that you can label your notebooks. And I have, like I was saying, I have a couple of half letter notebooks that I'm using to store filler paper. And so I wanted to be able to label what kind of paper was in the half letters. And so this is the way I'm going to do it. So you, well, you probably don't wanna do this with it on the discs. We're just gonna play with all the things together. So they come with a strip of paper that you can label or write on. Then you slide it in. It's kind of a tight squeeze. Ooh, I don't like that. You know what, I probably wouldn't use this. I would use my label maker and do a sticker on the top. That's what I do. So that is the first set of items I picked up from the Levenger sale. And it says, oh, there you go, for one to one and a half inch discs. Perfect for archiving, durable plastic, and labels included. I don't like these, so I'm going to say the labels are a bit of a bust. So I got one, two, three, four. I got four. I got, yeah, four sets of two. So I have eight of these so I can label up to eight notebooks. And they do work on Happy Planner. So if you're looking for a way to uh, label your spines, that's pretty cool. Can you open it? Can you open it? You can still open your notebook with it on there. Let me check. Let me fact check that with the classic size. So with the Levenger sale during Cyber Week and their website, I think is still 30% off. So if you're interested in these, I have an affiliate link down below. If you would shop through that, I would get a small commission off of your purchase. But 30% off, if you go through that link, uh, look these up. Could be a steal of a deal if you're looking to label and archive some of your old planners. Yeah, so let's see how this opens. Yeah, it's opening just fine. Wait, that just, did that pop off or did I not get it? Yeah, so you can still open your planner afterwards. Or if you're currently using it, it looks like you could you could still have those on there while you're using it. So that is the first item I picked up from Levenger. It's like one of those items you don't know that you need until you have it. And then you're like, I need them for every single notebook. So I already feel that way about these. I am really excited. So again, these are Circa label holders. It's a set of two and they do fit on the mini. It's a tight squeeze, but they do fit on the mini and they do fit on the classic Happy Planner discs. So Love that. Very excited. And I'm very glad that I purchased them during uh, during a sale. Usually when there are sales, I tend to take more risks with products. So this was a really great risk. Very glad that I took it. Okay. Let me move these out of the way. I also picked up from Levenger covers. So I picked up letter size and half letter size. They do not have happy planner sizes. That's not a thing with Levenger or with Circa. They do not have happy planner classic. They do not have happy planner mini. These are not the same size. However, that's okay with me because I am using a lot of sizes these days. So the Circa covers, their frosted clear covers come in a set of two sets, two sets, meaning front back, front back twice. So um, am I gonna be able to pull these guys out? I am really liking these covers. They're very, oh my goodness. Let me see if I can pull this eye, this guy off. Um, most clear covers come in a set of two, right? You only need one notebook. So when you buy them, you only get two. But this set, I think it was 15 bucks, something like that. You get two sets which is great for your current planner and then your back stock of planner inserts. So I got one pack, which is two sets, um, in the half letter. 
And then I totally stepped outside my comfort zone and bought the letter size. I'm not gonna open this, but it's the same thing. It has lavender, actually I should show that, show that to you guys. They're clear, right, frosted clear. And then the back does say lavender on it at the bottom. So same thing with the letter size, because uh, if I don't use the Work Plus Life planners for um, memory keeping in 2023, I will explain more later. If I haven't already posted that video, I will explain it later. Um, I thought that the clear covers in the big or the letter size would work great for memory keeping. So I can create... I'm going to move this out of the way just so that you guys don't see the ring light. Um, so the idea with the letter size, letter size is the same as Happy Planner Big. And all of the memory keeping stuff from the Happy Planner comes in a big. So my thought was that I could create a custom cardstock scrapbooked photo cover in that letter size and then have one of these be the cover for my memory keeping. So just like the half letter, this comes in a set of two. You cannot beat it. I do not see clear covers in sets of two for purchase anywhere else. So if you are looking for clear covers for the half letter or for the letter, which is the Happy Planner Big, then get a pack of two from Levenger and get them when they're 30% off. So just throwing that out there, I stocked up. So the next item I picked up, I'm not even sure I needed this, the whole pack of this, but I was intrigued. This is also in a half letter size. So this is junior sized monthly tabs and calendar, pull out calendar. So I already have dividers I'm pretty certain I'm going to be using from Jane's Agenda. They are clear dividers and I labeled them, but I wanted to... I wanted I wanted to see what Levenger's dividers look like. And more importantly, I was intrigued by the fold-out planner that comes in this set. So really, I bought this set for this fold-out planner. Let's look at it first. So you snap it into your planner like so, and then it folds out the entire year. And my thought was that this would be great for social media tracking all in one place. Now I'd probably pick one, one facet of social media to track here. Maybe it's affiliate income, maybe it's followers or subscribers, I'm not sure, but it folds out and it's the whole year. And then on the back, it has 2024 all the way across. And it folds up all nice and neat in a half letter size. So this is what caught my eye on the website, the fold out. And then the other element that I was intrigued by was just getting another set of divider tabs. I liked how neutral these were, white with gray writing. So again, this is half letter for 2023. So on the dashboard, it's printed on the dashboard or on the divider your monthly to-dos, you've got a personal list, a business list, and monthly goals in both categories. That's pretty great to have all in one. So for me, I have a personal life and then social media stuff is another big area of my life. So maybe this is my personal life, personal goals, and then social media to-dos and goals. The monthly layout I really like because it is lined. I think that is super cool. We have the previous month, and the upcoming month in that corner. This I would not decorate. This would be for a minimalist planner who wants to just write stuff down, write stats down. I like that it tells us the number, what day of the year it is. So here in the corner, it says one of 364. 364, Are there? Is it a leap year? 300, it must be a leap year, right? if it says 364 instead of 365. But you've got that countdown so you know exactly what day of the year it is. I think that's really nice. These are different colors, so that's interesting, probably because they're printed one on um, a dashboard and then the other on regular paper. So it's, the colors are a little different, which is odd, but that's okay. So I really like the lined. It's a Monday start and then Saturday and Sunday are combined. So that's interesting. 
And then we have a note page and it goes to the next month. So this is really, really simple. Oh, down here we have our, um, they've moved our bracketed months. So it's literally one sheet divider. Yeah, I mean, it's really, this is really basic, which makes me kind of want to consider using it because it is so clean. <gasps> You might see this in my social media setup for 2023. I'm not sure. Let's see if there was anything else. No. So this is really thin and it has, a, it packs a nice big punch. Um, let me make sure. Why does it seem like that gets thicker? No. Okay. So that is the monthly calendar with dividers and the fold out from Levenger for 2023. Very cool. Again, you might see that in a setup video very soon. I'm not sure. Oh, so many things to consider now. Okay, I'm really excited about that. Let's talk about discs from Levenger. Now, Lord knows I have a lot of discs from the Happy Planner. Um, I love their metal discs, but I wanted some without a punch for this guy. So this is a Levenger snap-on cover really, really nice. It's It's got a monogram on it with my initials. So this is also Levenger. And I thought this color, I thought I got copper. This looks gold. These are gold. Wasn't there a copper color? I need to, I'm going to have to check my, um, my invoice after this. I might've made a mistake, but, or actually we could compare these to happy planner gold. These look a little, maybe they look a little warmer. I think I meant to get copper, so I'm a little bummed about that. But I thought that these could look really pretty on this Levenger notebook. So let's go ahead and pop them on. If I were to just use Happy Planner Gold, they would be in the, um, what, one and a quarter? Is it one and a quarter for a classic size? I can't remember. And I wanted something a little bit smaller. So... I got them in one inch. That's, I wish Happy Planner made one inch discs. They jump um, from 0.75 in the minis to I think 1.25 with the classic. So they don't do one inch discs. So this size is unique. It came in a set of 11, which is great. I can go all the way to a letter size or a big Happy Planner size. And there you have it. <gasps> that well, oh, that is pretty sexy. That is pretty sexy. I do like that. Well, I guess I'll keep them. But there was a. I thought there was a copper color that had more. That well, was copper. I mean, this is definitely gold. So if I can find, if I can look through my invoice. Oh, I have it right here. Hold on. Hold on. No, it says I ordered gold. Well. I don't hate it on this notebook. And this, I have to decide whether or not I wanna use this um, frame for my social media planner next year. I'm not sure yet if I wanna go this warm, but it is pretty sexy. So again, this is Levenger and these discs are Levenger. And that does look real nice. So I got those discs and then I got another set of discs. These were on sale and they might still be on sale. And I think they were both clearance and the sale code, the coupon code that I had that was 30% off, um, I still worked on these. These are pearl discs. And I just thought they were really, really pretty. They are resin, I want to say. They feel heavier duty than plastic. But like they feel and look nicer than plastic. But they're very lightweight. So they are some sort of plastic or resin. But I just thought these were really pretty. They came in a set of 11. And yeah, they are pearl. So I don't know what I'll put these on, but they're really pretty. And I thought, why not? When in Rome. Okay, the last item from Levager. Don't forget, we're still, we are still um, going to go open up the Archer and Olive box. But I splurged on the Circa Leverage Punch. This is their creme de la creme punch. It's $100, but it was 30% off. I think it's still 30% off if it's something you want to pick up. They have three different types of disc-bound punches or disc punches. And 
obviously this is the most expensive one, but I decided to get the most expensive one because I thought it would be the most sturdy, would last the longest and thus have the best value. And I will say I have been satisfied with my Happy Planner Punch. This is the big, I've had it for a long time, it's fine, but you can only punch one sheet of paper at a time. It does not like laminate, laminated um, pieces. It doesn't really do anything thick. And as I get more adventurous with my planning and my wanting to like make my own planner, like I, this really isn't gonna cut it. And so I decided to splurge on this bad mamma jamma. The other thing that is unique about this is the punch. It is compatible with Happy Planner inserts, which is why I like it, but it's almost more forgiving because the mushroom part, the umbrella, whatever you want to call it, is bigger. So it makes the pages slide more easily. So without having looked at how to use this, so there's a lock, there's a lock on the side. I'm going to unlock it. Ooh, whoa, whoa, well, I am. Okay, so, wow. So this is like, can you see that? This mechanism, this is like, intense very intense oh my goodness it's very heavy wow very intense okay let me grab like here's this board okay oh that's chipboard that that might be too thick we don't want to break it let me see if i can find a piece of paper and let's compare punches the Happy Planner Punch and the Levenger Punch. And this is actually Levenger paper, so ignore that. So I'm just going to, let's see, I probably should have, oh, interesting. Okay, so in, in here or on this slider is different sizes of paper labels. So letter, junior, Circa PDA, micro PDA. Oh, uh, if it's a three by five. Interesting. So you slide it to the sides that you want. So you'd have to eyeball it if you're doing like the mini or the happy planner. But you've got letter and then you've got, oh, compact. Letter, compact, junior. Oh, interesting. Let's go to junior because that's what this is. And I'm presuming that you butt the paper up to this once you've made your selection. And then you just, oh, that's so easy. That is so easy. So there is your punch. I like that. Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to like read the, read the manual on this. This is very, very heavy duty. And I'll have to, like what is press, what are you pressing? Oh. So I think you press here where it says press, this slides out and then it reveals an opening here and that's how you get your punched pieces out. So that's cool. So here is the Levenger punch. Let's, um, I wanna make sure that we don't look at that guy. Let me move that out of the way. So Levenger punch and then let's look at the Happy Planner punch and compare the punch type. So I would just eyeball this, um, make sure that, that these guys are equal distance because I don't have any guide for a half letter. So we'll just go about there. And then you gotta do like that, which is not a very gratifying punch compared to the lever. But let's look at the difference here. And I think we'll need to do that with, we'll use this brown notebook so you can see it. So here is the Happy Planner Punch. You can see this the length of the stem and the size of the mushroom. Compare that to this guy. Let me make sure y'all can see that. So, ugh, I'm trying to do this with not enough hands. Okay, so, and let me grab my tweezers. So we can see with this Levenger Punch, the mushroom is a lot thicker, like it's, it's wider and the stem is wider and it's shorter. 
The Happy Planner Punch has a longer stem so the paper really gets up close to the disc and it's got a shorter mushroom which means you're not going to have a lot of play or as much play in flipping pages. So when you see a bigger mushroom like this, you're going to get pages that slide a lot easier than a mushroom this size. So I'm really excited to try um, having inserts with this type of disc punch rather than this side or this type of disc punch. And I'm pretty sure you can mix and match. So if you have Happy Planner inserts that are punched like this and then you punch your own inserts with the Levenger, I can't imagine it to be a problem with the pages next to each other. But I guess I'll find out and let you guys know. We'll do a follow-up if, if anything happens, anything interesting happens with this punch, I'll let you know. But I just feel like if you are a hard, hardcore disc bound user, you make your own notebooks, maybe you make notebooks for other people, you make your own inserts, you want to start exploring with different types of papers, different thicknesses of papers, then buying the leverage punch might be a really good investment or like putting it on your birthday list or your Christmas wish list. Again, it's $100 but I bought it at 30% off and I really was like, you know what? I'm like doing this now. I'm I'm doing the disbound thing. I want a really nice punch. So I did treat myself. This might be a really good treat yourself. I will also say though, it's super weighted and heavy and you're not gonna be able to just throw this in a drawer. You probably would wanna have a shelf to put it on. This I throw in a drawer and it's fine, but you know, something else to consider would be whether or not you have space for a desktop type punch like this. So it's definitely an investment, but I'm pretty sure that there's a 30% off coupon code um, at Levenger right now. And that would be the time to get this, this guy. So I think that's everything from Levenger. I got the punch. I got two different types of discs. I got more clear covers in the letter size and the half letter size and the monthly calendar pages that come with that fold out for 2023 and then lastly but not leastly if that's a word <laughs> these label holders that I think could be really good for all of us happy planners that keep our um, planners into the future that, that keep an archive of, of notebooks and stuff. So that is everything from Circa. Let's open up my Archer and Olive and hope we don't have a blunder like I did in a video the other day where all of my planners fell to the ground. There's so much stuff over here, but I will say um, positive on the clutter happening. It's not going to be here for much longer because my husband said our office slash she shed that I'm moving into should be done within two weeks, you guys. Two weeks. I'm so excited because one, I just, I need the room and I would like to organize my stuff. But two, this room is supposed to be our baby's nursery. And right now it's got a guest bed in it. It's got my planner and craft stuff in it. And it has a nursery chair. Like we don't even have her um, crib set up. So... I'm really wanting that office to be done so that I can finally create a nursery. So two weeks from the filming of this video, and yes, I will do a, um, a filming of like a walkthrough of that once we get it set up. Okay, let's talk about Archer and Olive. I picked up two things during their deals. The first was an A5 journal cover. I don't know why I got this. Sometimes you just get stuff because it's on sale and you think you might want it at some point. But let me show you this. I'm not even sure I have. Do I have a half or an A5? I'm not sure I even have an A5 notebook within. Do I within reach? I don't. Pretty much all of my bullet journals have been tucked away. Wait, did I pull one out for another video? Hold on. Wait a second. Now, I'm not actually sure what size uh, notebook this is. So we're gonna try it and if it's the right size, then you guys will get to see what this looks like. If it's not the right size, then, well, I'm just gonna show you a piece of plastic. So this is the A5 journal cover. It's clear and it says Archer and Olive in gold on the back. 
It's got a snap closure. And the idea is you should be able to, I hope this is an A5 notebook, slide this in here and it protects your cover. So let's see. Come on. Is this an A5? I think it is an A5. It is. Okay, so then how does this work? If you've got the tie or the ribbon, I should have thought about this. Hold on. This might be a bust for me. It might be a bust. Okay, I'm definitely not putting this on correctly. Someone's probably gonna leave me a comment about how I'm doing this wrong. Okay, let's try really bending it. So you lose you lose your pen holder and your ribbon. Yeah, that's kind of, I don't know how I feel about that. It definitely feels like the journal is protected, which I like, but I actually don't like the way it feels. I don't like it. All right, well, there's the first bust for Elizabeth for Cyber Week. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of Archer and Olive. I'm not a fan of this, of this cover. This might have to go in a giveaway at some point. Um, Cause I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. Well, it was very affordable if I remember correctly. So that was the A5 journal cover. That's a pass for me. Actually, I was thinking for a white elephant gift exchange at my office. I'm still gonna go to our Christmas party, even though I'm on maternity leave. And the theme of the white elephant is cozy. And we don't give like gag gifts, we give like good gifts. So maybe what I'll do is pick out an Archer and Olive A5 notebook and this, this guy and I'll bundle them. And that will be my gift for the white elephant gift exchange and then someone else can decide whether or not they like that cover but that is going to be a pass for me sorry don't recommend okay the other thing I picked up from Archer and Olive was a former subscription box which they advertised as like gift boxes because the subscription season for this is over but they probably had extras and so this was one of their daily deals and it was $25 $25. So I'm really excited to open it. And I they might still have these on their website. So uh, if you are looking for a gift, a Christmas gift for someone, you should see if Archer and Olive still has old, subs oh yeah, has old, oh my goodness, old subscription boxes that you might be able to gift to someone. So this was the wild one subscription box. I think it was probably, I didn't get this one originally, which is why I was okay with purchasing it. I think it was from summer, like two years ago, maybe. I could be wrong, but look at all this stuff that I got for 25 bucks. So we've got a notebook. We'll look at that. Coloring pages. I don't know what this is. We will find out. Enamel bookmarks. We'll open that up. Calliograph or is it Calliograph or Calliograph? I think it's Calliograph. I don't have any Calliograph pens, so I am very excited to have one of these um, boxes to try out. We have washi tape. And then honestly, what sold me on this box other than the price, because it was so good, 25 bucks. Oh, we've got some little stickers. Was this bag? I thought this bag was so pretty. And I was like, for 25 bucks, I probably, I probably would buy this bag and have it be my going back and forth between the office and the backyard and our house. So if, almost like a planner tote, which is probably what it was intended to be. It's got a flat, a flat bottom. This might be hard to, I'm going to stand up. This might be hard to show you guys, but this thing opens up so big so the first side compartment has three compartments in it. So one, two, 
three. These center sections don't go all the way down to the bottom, so you might have stuff starting to move into the other side, but that's all right. And then the other side, exactly the same, three compartments. And then in the center, you have a nice big section. And look at this. Comes with a little ring for maybe your keys. So if you're like on the go and you don't wanna lose your keys, you can just clip them onto there if you have like a carabiner, which I do. We've got a strap here. Maybe you could clip something on there. And I guess you could clip something here too. So this, this is a canvas tote in a beautiful design with tons of sections, Archer and Olive on the front. This could be a really good diaper bag too for going back and forth between uh, my house and next door where my mom is currently staying. So sometimes when she takes Esther, you know, she needs a restock on diapers or like baby supplies. So I could load this up with baby supplies and carry it over to my mom's house. So I love this. This is worth the price of admission. This is pretty much why I purchased the box to begin with. But uh, value-wise for 25 bucks, all this stuff is just crazy. So let's look at this little goodie. I think these are just little like paper stickers. Oh, they're not paper. These look like they're, oh, they are paper stickers. So we've got Monstera leaves, some oranges, these like little flags or um, fans. Oh, there's a lot in here. Just a lot of different little kind of tropical wild little cats. Well, big cats, not little cats. And more greenery. So that's kind of fun. You get a nice little stack of decorative into the wild themed stickers. Cute. Now, subscription boxes from Archer and Olive are like, I want to say they're maybe like 70 bucks and then you have to pay eight or ten dollars for shipping and at the end of the day I think the box that I just ordered I think was like 90 dollars with tax and shipping so when this box popped up at 25 dollars I was like I have to get it even if there's like two things in here that I like it's still going to be worth it for that price and that bag it did it for me. I love this washi tape. This is a win for me. The Archer and Olive washi tape, I don't love just because it tends to be a bit more waxy and it doesn't rip well. And it also usually has a lot more pattern on it. So it's difficult for me to use decoratively. But these, the pattern on these, you could very easily layer with other things. So I, I like that. That's got a nice like animal print, pink animal print. I like that one. Now, this one is an example of the type of washi tape I'm not a fan of. If it's overly embellished, it can be difficult to use. But here's this one. It's got the cheetah print. And then the last one has leaves on it, and I am a fan of this one. So I like three of the four. I'm very satisfied with that. So there's that washi tape. That's cute. Wrong season for me to use it, but that's okay. It will be used. It will be used in a year. <laughs> okay, let's look at the Calliograph pens. Ooh. Oh, here's a little teaser of the colors. And since I have this lavender paper already here, let's do a little swatchy swatch. I'm really really pleased that these pens were in this box since I have not tried their Calliograph pens before. So there's your colors. These are on the colors. And ooh, we lost a cap. I didn't know their pens were double-sided. Well that is really great. Fine and broad, double-sided. So here's the first one, marsh green. And they're labeled, the colors are labeled. Well, this is an experience. So this is Marsh. Oh, it's very light. That's Marsh. Marsh Green. I'm not great at lettering. Mm, I don't love, I don't love how that looks. 
but I don't know if that's actually my issue or not. Jungle green, so this is jungle. Whoa. That's really pretty. That is jungle green. I need to, I need to work on my lettering. I haven't done it in a long time. I really like that color. Bleeds like, well, it doesn't bleed like crazy. Yeah, it bleeds. It bleeds a fair amount. Then we have parakeet. Whoa. Pear. Uh. Parakeet. Green. Um, the, the finer tip is relatively easy to use, but I am a beginner still. I mean, I, I've, there are softer tips that are harder for beginners. This is kind of between soft and firm, and it's like so-so for a beginner, I'd say. Next one is Blue Lagoon. Blue. That's pretty. Lagoon. That's a really pretty color. All right, last one is Toucan Orange. Whoa. Toucan Orange. Something's not, something's not feeling right with these. It could just be my pregnancy carpal tunnel giving me grief because you've got to be really intentional with how you're, how you're pressing down and when you're lifting up. So it could just be that. Um, these kind of felt a little hard for me to use though. But the colors are really pretty and I've never used these before. So I'm happy to have these in my pen collection now. I can say that I've tried them. Okay, we need to move because I feel like this video is going to be long. These are enamel bookmarks, a set of two. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really pretty. Let me lift this guy out if I can. Yeah, that's really cute. So the idea being, of course, that you can just pop that on and then look how it pops out on top. <gasps> pretty. Yeah, I think some of these items I'm going to create like a cute little... Christmas present out of for one of my coworkers. If I can get this guy. Oh, and I just made that break off. Oh my goodness. That is really pretty. I like that one, but it would look a little corny to gift this with this missing. So we'll see, but someone's going to get a really nice, beautiful box of Archer and Olive stuff for Christmas. That is for sure. So those are the enamel bookmarks. What is in here? It's not labeled, it's a mystery item. I don't know if I saw an unboxing of, oh! <gasps> love, 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 love. It's a paper pad. <gasps> it's a paper pad of dot grid in two different shades of green and this really soft yellow. This is great because you can write in it as is or you can pull them out and do journaling pages with it. You can rip it up. You can stamp it. You can cut it into different shapes. I love that. So that is a cute little paper pad. That's really cute. Their packaging is excellent. Like bundling things together for gifts for Christmas. So easy because everything is already so beautiful. Now we have coloring pages. Three coloring sheets. So here's the first one. That's really nice and thick. So we've got leaves. We've got the kitty cat or cheetah <laughs> and the monstera leaves. Pretty. I like, I like that a lot. And I love, love, love this packaging. I just think it is so luxe. I'm just going to leave this. I'm gonna fiddle with it for too long. All right, last item is this notebook. I can already see it is a dot grid notebook. 
160 pages. This is going to be lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love the packaging. This matches the washi tape. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, pretty. That is so pretty. It's got a nice texture to it. Let's lift this guy out. This is your classic Archer and Olive notebook. What a beautiful color. Let me slide this up. Yeah, that feels really nice. It's almost like a faux pebbled leather. That is real nice. And you're just classic. Oh, look at this. Wait a second. Is all of Archer, all of Archer and Olive's uh, notebooks perforated? I'm pretty sure they're not. This one has perforated pages. <gasps> I love. I was thinking I would gift this one, but I don't think I can. And I need to go back through and look at all my other notebooks and see if they're perforated. And I just missed it. That is amazing. Love that. I didn't see anywhere on here that said it was perforated. I mean, 160 GSM. So maybe I'd have to go back and see how this compares to, no, this is ultra thick. So you know what? This is probably so you could paint in it. <gasps> yeah, I don't think I'm going to gift this one. I don't think so. Really, really pretty. All right, friends. So that is everything I got from Archer and Olive. I mean, really, it was the uh, that sub box that is now just kind of considered a gift box on their website. I would pay probably up to 50 bucks for this and then separate it as gifts for people. But if you can find it on sale, get it on sale for sure. So I doubt that they would do um, have it priced at 25 bucks at this point. But again, normally it's like 70. So if it's marked down from that, and then if you can use Joyful 10, that's my affiliate coupon code. If you can stack Joyful 10 on top of that, might be a really good, um, really good deal. The bag for me is like worth the price of admission. That notebook is gorgeous. I am very happy with that purchase. So Archer and Olive, we've got the box, we've got the A5 journal cover, and then we went through all of the stuff from Levenger, and that, my friends, is the first Cyber Week related video here on my channel. If you have any questions about the items I've purchased, leave me a comment down below, and I will have links down below to these items. So if you decide to pick something up, I would love if you used my affiliate links. Doesn't cost you anything, but I do get a referral commission off of your purchase or from your purchase. So I uh, appreciate when you use those links. Uh, I think that's all I have, friends. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again, if you want to plan with me, if you want to see other unboxings, first impressions, tips, tricks when it comes to planning and organization, I do hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.